recovery cylinders, like we said, they are yellow top and they're going to be gray on the bottom. And as you can tell from the picture here, we see that it has two ports on it. It has the red and it has the blue handle on it. Now you have to read on there because one of them will say liquid, the other one is going to say gas. So that now you know where to hook up when you want to get liquid out or when you want to get gas out of it. Extreme care must be taken when filling the containers because if you overfill it, you're going to create an explosion. Again, you have metal coming at you and or you're going to have liquid refrigerant coming at you and that will definitely hurt. Now, if a tank is suspected of being contaminated with air or other refrigerants, check the pressure and the temperature, like we said, with a PT chart. PT chart, pressure temperature relationship chart. When using a vapor recovery, the fill level of the recovery cylinder can be controlled by any of the following. We said it was what? Do you remember? We said it could be a mechanical float, electronic shutoff device on the recovery machine, or the weight, or the weight. So there are different ways of doing it. 